first carnival memory was when I brought Cindy Ray from Rochester and she won the diving because she was a diver at home and it was a big to do because they didn't know what to do if they should let her win or not and they wouldn't give her a ribbon because she was an outsider. But what carnival it means to me is a whole collection of people coming together as a family and a community and helping each other and taking care of and supporting the kids to be learning new rules and learning how to be part of a bigger community. And the memories that I have are those things like when a kid, um, when the egg falls off the spoon, everybody cheers anyway, or the kid that gets his nose full of water, everybody still wants him to finish and get a prize and be happy. Everybody supports everybody. And that, that is the most important thing to me. The one memory that I remember, it's not a, um, a particular event that they do anymore, but they used to have a mother-daughter, I think it was called mother-daughter uh, dress-down race, and we, we all had to wear jeans and sweatshirts and socks. I have been coming to Carnival for 48 years, so this would be my 49th Carnival. So what does it mean to me? It means community and connection and a legacy. And that's, that's the best I can. It's really important because it's, it's a taste of the past and the future and it, to know what went on. I mean, this thing is, what, 100 years old? It's different. Yeah, it can be so, and it, It's important to maintain those things. It's different than any other place. Live bands with the, you know, the hoedown at night. All that kind of stuff. Look at that. The greased watermelon. You ought to go in there. Adults are allowed. The greased watermelon, they play football in the water with this greased watermelon. And you can't ham hang on to it. We got out when, when our granddaughters were there for Polly. We got out old ribbons. We have, and we had ribbons for when you guys. Sure. When, from when you guys were kids. I mean, that was a few years ago. That's right. And they used to, sometimes, some years they used to ask for them back and put new ribbons on them if they ran out of buttons or couldn't get them or couldn't afford them. I love it. I love it. Yeah, well, we, they were writing down it. The kids were really impressed. Lynn, Lynn put in about six hours of worrying and about a half hour of work. That, that's, uh, that's pretty much how that works. Let's <laughs> point the kids in the right direction, all right. <laughs> they, they, you, you just need that. You need that. So how are ticket sales going? Pretty good. Pretty good. Got some money here. <laughs> are we on uh, the camera right now? <laughs> Say hi, Al. Hey. <laughs> And, you know, they start talking about, they right, remember right. things yeah. and so on about, you know, that they used to have, everybody on the lake used to have a St. Lawrence skiff. Oh, you're right. The old-fashioned, yeah. lots of <coughs> yep. double-ended roll boats. And, boy, those went fast yeah. in the races, I'll tell you. Good races, yeah. You get two yeah. pairs of roll and you always yeah. never yeah. If you looked at a film from a carnival of, say, the 1940s or 50s, it would look like today's. And they've used that sign with the listing of the races. They've used that sign for years and years and years. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the water races and, of course, the parade uh, with the floats. And they award prizes for... Uh, uh, well, first prize, maybe every second prize, and then uh, most original, or <laughs> most imaginative, or something like that. And then, uh, and then the dinner, which we're about to have here, and uh, the square dance. Can't wait for the square dance. And, and it's all, all just as it was, you know, 70 years ago or so.